Many times automated strategies need to consider information from different timeframes before making a trading decision. In this video, we will demonstrate how to develop a CBOT which places orders based on the direction of moving averages of different timeframes. Let's navigate to CTrader Automate. We will create a new CBOT and we will name it Multi Timeframe Strategy Example. In this example, we will declare three moving averages from different timeframes and we will enter buy positions when all three moving averages are rising and we will enter sell positions when all three moving averages are falling. Let's start by declaring the necessary parameters for a moving average. We will need the period, the timeframe and moving average type. The first parameter will be an integer parameter that will allow us to specify the moving average period. We will set the name and a default value. We will also specify the group this parameter will belong to. We will call it moving averages. The next parameter will be a timeframe parameter that will allow us to choose the moving averages timeframe. Our default value for this parameter will be the hourly timeframe. We will add it to the same group. The last parameter will be the moving average type. CTrader Automate allows us to choose between several types of moving averages like simple, exponential, weighted and many more. We will allow the user to choose his own moving average type. Now that our parameters are in place, let's declare the moving average indicator. And then let's initialize it in the onStart method. We will use the moving average constructor and the market data .get bars method to get the bars of the first moving average and pass them to the indicator's constructor. Get bars method is a very handy method for getting bar data for any time frame and any symbol you need. We use it here to retrieve the close prices data for our selected time frame. We will repeat the process for the other two moving averages. We will copy and paste the code and rename the variables accordingly. We will just change the numbering in the parameters names add the default values of our two new moving averages. Then we will declare and initialize these moving averages. Now let's implement the trading logic. 
Our strategy will open a buy position when all moving averages are rising and a sell position when moving averages are falling. Let's start with writing the code for the buy positions. Our first condition will be if all moving averages are rising. The moving average result property features methods that allow you to determine if the moving average is rising or falling. We will use it for our condition. Then we will check if there are no other buy positions open. We can do this by using the positions property and the count method to determine how many buy positions of the current symbol are open. If the result is zero, we will execute a buy market order. We will use the execute market order method and we will pass the trade type, the symbol, and the volume as parameters. If our trending conditions are not met, then we close all buy positions if there are any open. We will use a for each loop, we will get all the positions of the same symbol and by direction and we will close them using the close method. We will code the reverse logic for the cell positions. We will check if all moving averages are falling and we will open a cell position if there are no other cell position open. In this case we will replace the is rising method with is falling method. Similarly we will close sell positions when the conditions are not valid. Let's build our CBOT, add an instance, and backtest it. We can see that the CBOT enters positions when the moving averages are synchronized to the same direction and stays out of the market when each indicator points to a different direction. In this video we demonstrated that building multi-timeframe CBOTs is very simple and straightforward because of the powerful CTrader Automate API. We hope that you found our video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.